Hello everybody, Stoic here, back playing Amnesia, a machine for pigs. And uh, last time, apparently, we, well, we turned that uh, thing there, and now there's a pig head there. Uh, and the machine started working. And I guess we'll go back down this way. What the? Oh, okay. I was like, what? Interesting. Hmm. Another pump. It seems once again I must engage it. I cannot help but feel I am trapped in some great game, forced to undertake endless Herculean labors for the promised reward of my darling children. Ha! Fourth wall! Broken! Get over there somewhere. All right. Oh nope, not that way. No! Get up! Get up! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I I died. The hell was I supposed to do? What the hell? Where am I? Oh. Okay, I spawned over here. Okay. This is just loud. There's a ladder. I don't want to go down there. Okay, so that was crap. Hmm. Okay. Okay, well, let's go this way first. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Probably don't want to drink that. Main pump controls. Sounds good to me. Okay. Well, this looks like a problem. Meh. Yeah! I know science. Psh. Kidding me? I bet this won't work. Yeah. Stop. Ensure all wheels are in place for correct operation of pumps. Yes, yes, yes. Now let's try it. Yeah. Victory. Sweet, sweet victory. Alright. wonder how close we are. Being done. Is that... Is that... I mean, it sounds like it's working. The flood is drained. I have prevailed. The saboteur is beaten. My heart pounds with excitement, even as my head spins and shudders in feverish anticipation. How this machine now throbs about me, sensing its rebirth is imminent. The final descent beckons me to enter, as Lily once lay on our wedding bed and summoned me- Okay. That's unnecessary. Okay, I guess I go this way. Because we're descending, always descending. Okay. You suck. Okay. Is this the right way? Ah, another decontamination room! Yes! Screw you, Karen. I am out of here. See you! I got this thing down. One of these times this is gonna break and it's gonna freak me out. Um, take a shower. Getting cleaned off. I'm good. Alright. Let us move forward.
Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Why are there so many decontamination rooms? I mean, seriously. At what point does it become kind of, well, pointless? Onward! The children dancing. They pulled the child loose from the thresher, or at least what was left. More where that came from, said the foreman, apologizing for the inconvenience. Um. What was left of the child, or the, 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 the other thing? Okie dokie. Okay, there's a little way to go. Note! Wonderful. Curled into my bunk, all sick and sweat-ridden, they clean my room about me, but I can only hear the voice from within the gentlest of stones. It sings to me, and I dream of a great machine. We will build a new world from the ruins of the old. We will plant flowers in the rotten, rotten rib cage, and let them grow to hold the sky from falling. I remember how it whispered to me as we rolled sick and heaving, and I remember when we pulled into Southampton and we both wept, for it was every bit as much a desecration as had been sung to me. And then we came to London, and I set it upon the mantelpiece, and went into the house and gathered the servants and set on recrafting them. And then I went to the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls under the weeping bulges of the rhododendrons. Rhododendrons. Okay, so I'm thinking he found another ore, which has essentially driven him insane. What? And when they first said, Daddy, my heart was molten, as if blood frozen upon the ground were held to the sun to thaw and slop. Okay, and they were inseparable, always together, one soul and two bodies. My love was all consuming. I would die for you, I whispered to their sleeping faces. I would kill. I would set this world to ruin to protect you. I have fought through dark tunnels, great engines, and the foulest of beasts. I have set my covenant and drained this flood, and I am come for you, my darling boys. Oh, this is going to go poorly. Poorly indeed. Stop! Hammer time. No one authorized person to enter this facility by order of the management. I am management. Screw you. Okay, that goes down. This is not. This goes nowhere. Got it. Good lord. And you came then to London, and you set me upon a mantelpiece, and then you went into the house and gathered the servants, and we set you and I on recrafting them, and then you went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls alone. One, holy crap, is the orb talking to me? That's what I'm getting from this. Two, are those shattered skulls my children? Is that what happened? Did I kill them to protect them? That's messed up. Am I at the end of the game? No way. No freaking way. I'm waiting for something to collapse underneath me. For your children, Magnus. To spare them the world you have created for us all. Dude, you are freaking me the hell out. Doubt. You have an ascending room. No, Daniel, it's elevator music. Is this the machine? What the F? What am I looking at? This is so bizarre. Seriously. She has a nice voice though. Nice timing. Door. Re uh, 
Rod control room. Do I want to go this way yet? I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. Let's explore a tad more. Okay, it's creepily quiet here. Very open. Okay, this is a control room, it seems like. Oh. I tried. I tried so hard. I will uphold my promise. I will always protect them for you. My eyes are your eyes. My heart is your heart. I will rip them loose from this rotten world and set them to burn. All to save them. I still am not 100% sure what's going on, but it just sounds messed up. Okay. Guessing this just goes the other way. Okie dokie. It's a TIE Fighter! Pew pew! Can I go up? Nope. Okay, well... Only thing... Oh, I can... Hello. Uh, nothing left. I guess let's go to the rod control room thingamabobber. I didn't get any journal, though. Okay, why are there speakers everywhere? I don't like this. And why does this go all the way over here? Jeez. Alright. To this thing. On what? Hello. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor? That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. Oh, gosh. Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. The Ask goat. Ask them to define your humane. Seriously, what is with a goat? It's not a pig. Okay, so... Oh yeah, I love that noise. I don't know what I'm doing. The bastard has been here too. This is the epicenter of his meddlings. This is where it began, and this is where it will end. I will seek the source of this obstruction, and then I will render this sabotage impudent once and for all. I still don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I guess maybe I want all of these on and I want to go to uh, three. It's my guess. Cause... Three doesn't three doesn't work. Three is not happy. It's my guess. Okay. Okay, further and further down we go. Sign. Danger, compound X, highly flammable, highly corrosive, highly toxic, highly, highly. Highly, highly. Yeah, this seems bad. Was that like a Geiger counter? Am I getting radiation? Okay, I jumped up there. Something's gonna be waiting for me. This is all too easy. All too easy. Impressive. Most impressive. Alright. I don't know what I'm doing. Ding! Awesome. I, I guess. I, seriously, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just flipping switches. Seems like vaguely happy music. Oh. Now to find the ignition controls and start the machine once more. Elated, I stride forth upon these catwalks. I am coming, my darlings. I have almost saved you. 
Oh, I have a feeling you have saved nothing, sir. I guarantee you this is bullshit. I guarantee you this is bullshit. Bet I have been had. Now what? Now, Mandus, set them free. Set them all free. All? All? God. Such a bad idea. I am getting locked in. Who cool beans? Not really. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Again, I rise. I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children. My time is come, more pig, more pig. More, more, more pig. Are you calling me a pig? Or whoa, boys, boys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, uh, what? 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 Ugh. Gross. Mandus, saboteur, you can't come in. No, you can't come in. You must sleep in the yard, bad piggy, dirty pig, stinky, filthy animal, you had bad child, you stinking child, you filth. Okay, so am I the saboteur? Daddy. All right, so I'm not done, apparently. And, emerging, I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Mammon. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. Stone egg. I'm still thinking that's the orb. No idea what's going on. Why am I so wonked out right now? Can't run. Cannot run. So just continue forth. You stay away from me, devil children. Decontamination door and pig heads falling from the sky. Wonderful. Can a man construct himself anew? Can a man, on realizing who he is and what he has become, tear himself apart down to the bricks and begin again? Are our souls just this tiny cog wheels and clockwork and intricate machines to serve a function that upon reflection we might set to a new task? Can a man, defined by his actions, defined by that which he now finds abhorrent, set to sabotaging this body, his machine, until those children of his soul turn in new motion, and he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century with hope in his heart? As I reach my hands to the exposed wires, I ask myself this. Is redemption possible for such a creature as I? And if not, then surely better to die amongst my creatures, creations, than to continue to live as a monster. Okay, what is with the masks? Do the pig men wear the masks? I apparently... Oh. Can't check. Stuff. So it is done. The saboteur was me. And the voice on the telephone was him. What of us? How do we connect? 
Surely I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember! All I can grasp is a moment when the world split into two pieces and the innards of humanity fell from an orifice to an agape into my open, bifurcated heart. A heart? He's a me! Or something. I really have no clue. Warning! Steam vent access only at low pressure. So I guess I want to go that way, maybe? Where are they? Where are my children? You've been over this, dude. Why do you ask, Landis? You know we are so well now. Yes. We do. Okay. Note. Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proved indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize out at source, but drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. Armed with just a shortened broom, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast. They risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapors when they rush back into the system. Then we will be sending their comrades and afterwards to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places with the complex of the pipes. I smile, tell them I'm so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. God. Uh, okay. Automatic pressure regulator shut off. I want that. I think. Look at all this stuff that I can't do anything with. Awesome. I want this. Don't I? Hmm. I don't have anything to throw at it. Except a pig mask. Can I carry something like this with me? Can I even pick up the pig masks? I can't. Well, shucks. Hey, that door's gone. Hmm. Okay, now I don't know what I'm doing. I want to shut off pressure regulation. Yes. I want. I want, I want. I want this game to be over, for one thing. I have had my fill. Thank you. Plant fully operational. Damn it. Seriously, I want to break this. I want to do something. What do I freaking do? Okay. Okay. I want to run. What are you doing, little piggy? Do you think I will allow you to sabotage me again? I want my children, you unholy bastard! Bastard! So, from what I understand of that note, I'm going to be running into more pigs. Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus. But it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! Why can't I have my lantern out? Why can't I have my lantern out? Why can I only walk slowly? But must be crouched to move forward. 
Maybe there's some split personality going on. I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on. I can't see anything. Okay. This will be bad. This will be very bad. Can't see where I'm going. Oh. Okay. Oh, little pig creature. Hello there. Pleasure. Surely. Where am I? How the hell did I get here? Note. Ah, there is a spoon of medicine, I says. And it's a silver spoon, what you did get born holding. Ever so painful for mummy dear, but grass so hard it was a little screaming red fist. Later you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get all the way to Mexico. And then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. This spoon was the same you gave your twins. Then you used it to dig a hole in their clockwork souls, and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep, your, keep you fat. Fat little mole, where will you dig next, I asks. You and your little silver spoon, made from the silver spine of your children, and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed. Dear sweet Jesus, my darling Lilibeth, what have I become? I have no idea what am I become. Oh good, I got this back. Now what the hell am I doing? Where am I? What am I doing? Oh, here's the thing. Screw you! It seems that the pressure system is indeed the Achilles heel of this facility. Something I clearly did not realize in my first clumsy attempt at sabotage. If I reroute the steam, I can wreak havoc. Havoc. Except I guarantee you the pigs are the pigs are gonna kill me. I see a ladder. Rip it out! I wonder, did the pigs help me? Is that what they did? Is that why I'm here? Why I am here? this. Some form of steam regulator. I'll wager if I disable it, the damage caused by the rushing steam pressure could be catastrophic. Certainly enough to force a temporary stalling of this entire engine. That should cause the steam pressure to drop. Mandus, you clever old goat I, can, goat, I can feel this horror, this grief, this betrayal boil into fury. I will not stand. I will not be un undertrodden. If this machine is my heirloom, I am the overman. No idea what that means. Chill. 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 Alright, well, I'm gonna stop this here, and next time we will try and figure out this stuff. So until then, stay frosty.